I'll do this real quick, is the comment of the week. Uh, actually, this is two comments, although I could only find one, but I know I saw another one along the same vein. And that uh, it was one of the videos I had where I uh, show models from a plas recent plastic model competition. And uh, I show, I like to put little screen captures and, and uh, things I, th I find neat for the thumbnail. And one of them was judges looking at a model using a flashlight to take a look at the model. I thought it's a nice scene, kind of invokes uh, all in one scene what's going on. Judges judging, looking at a model in detail. But I was surprised when it, one or two commenters criticized judges for using flashlights to look at a model. And I thought, well, that's rather odd. Why would you do that? And so I thought, well, I'm going to touch on this a little bit because uh, not only have I, do I go to these plastic model shows, I've actually participated in it as a competitor and I've been a judge on several occasions. And so I thought maybe if somebody, if they were listening or if you weren't sure why some people use a flashlight, I'll give you a quick lesson on what goes on when we're judging models. Normally, models are broken into categories. So you'll have a, a category for 135th armor uh, that's uh, a particular year. Or you say um, you have a category for single engine German World War II aircraft. That's one category. Do you have another category for uh, modern military jets at 172nd scale or something like that. So the, cause it's just, you get eventually too many when you got a competition with it has 300 models. Sometimes, uh, you, you, not, not sometimes, all the times you need to really break it up to make it in more manageable pieces. Otherwise you'd be there for a day and competition can be really stiff. And for that reason, as we ch a look at each class, we try to find the top three. Usually that's pretty easy to find the first top three really quickly. But after that, sometimes the competition for top plays can be really, really close. And so two models that look perfect, that are vying for first place or first and sec second and third place, uh, sometimes can really be trying on the judge. So when a competition is that close, we really got to get nitpicky. We start looking at every little defect every little thing and that and a lot of judges will whip out a flashlight to take a really close look at what's going on and there's when your competition is this tight you really need to find out where the flaws are in a model so it's perfectly normal for a judge to whip out a flashlight or even a magnifying glass to take a look at the, the top models that's totally reasonable nobody's ever complained uh as far as uh, the judging or the people that run the show you sometimes need to do that a lot of these people are older so eyesight's not always as good. So if you're, if you're, especially like me, I wear corrective lenses, although I can see pretty good up close without my glasses. Some people I know need glasses to see up close and to read. And so this is a perfectly reasonable thing to do. So I didn't want to delve on this too long. I've already run long anyways. So uh, if, you see, if you're in a modeling competition, you expect to see judges do things to really find that diamond in the rough.